Hi, Kitsap County. Welcome to this week's Kitsap County housing statistics for the week of November 7th through November 13th. I am Stephanie Dupuis with Dupuis team at Keller Queens West Sound. So, so we're looking at going into lockdown number 500, gazillion number, whatever it is. And, and the housing stats are still steady and I expect them to remain that way. We might have a little bump going into next week. Um, and we're gonna talk about the, the restrictions, the governor's restrictions um, in our next video, our weekly video for this week, which I would recommend watching that because it's gonna affect statistics a little bit. I expect not quite this week, but I, I'm gonna anticipate some further restrictions here and I could be wrong, but I'm not going to be surprised if we see some, some more restrictions coming up, uh, especially in the real estate industry that will affect our housing stats. So I'm just putting that plug in right now. So those of you who really follow the stats, maybe go for also follow, I'd be following the restrictions right now. So let's get to stats. Here's the good news. Um, new homes on market really up this week. They're up almost 20%. We had 82 new homes on market. That's great. We've got to see these homes coming on market. So sellers, I'll tell you, sellers, you have every reason in the world right now to be putting a home on market. Right now is the perfect time. Um, it might be risky to not put it on the market. If you're considering putting your home on, mar on the market in the next six to nine months, there's a lot of re many reasons to put it on market right now. Um, you're going to avoid uh, some potential restrictions, COVID restrictions or pandemic restrictions coming up. We don't know if they're going to come up, but it's very likely um, if that concerns you. If I was a seller, I'd still put my home on market restrictions or not. We have evidence that you're going to be fine, but that's going to bother some people. Um, and uh, we're heading into the holidays. I also am going to recommend putting your home on market, whether it's the holidays or not. We'll get into that later, but that's going to bother some people, okay? And our inventory continues to go lower. We're up a little bit this week, but just by a handful of homes. It's really insignificant. So if you're a home seller, yeah, a lot of reasons to be putting your home on market right now. All right. Uh, the other good data we saw this week is 146 homes pending. You know, we're holding really steady, and that's a good number of homes uh, to go pending. Here's the problem, though. Only 82 new homes on market, 146 pending. Anyone that can do some basic math here, you don't need to get the calculator out for this one. There are more homes going pending and going into escrow, which means they're selling folks, than there are coming on market. And when we have more homes selling than coming on market, we've got a leak in the pool. Our inventory is gonna to continue to go down. We don't have much room for our inventory to continue to go down because inventory is only, we only have 263 homes on market in all of Kitsap County. How, how much farther can that go down? There's there's not much room there. We're going in and out of homes. So this puts a lot of pressure on buyers. A lot of pressure on buyers. Great for sellers, really hard on buyers. Okay, and we're feeling the stress of, those poor buyers right now. Buyers have to be very, very careful. All right, so 263 homes this week in all of Kitsap County for sale on the MLS. Um, typically, again, uh, you know, we're, we're that's about 10% of, of the number of homes for sale that we should have. Uh, typically we're around 2,000, uh, 2,500 um, this time of year. Some people say 1,800. Some perspective, seven, five, seven years ago, we were at about 1,500 and inventory was low then. Okay, all right, all right. Let's go on to the next thing. Uh, days on market's going down. Mark 20, 20 days on market average. That's not really you know representative of days on market. Um, that's an average. So what we're seeing is that homes that are priced well they're selling in, you know, within a week, you know, seven to 10 days, typically, is what we're seeing. Um, homes that aren't priced well, those are the ones making the average more towards 20, and they're selling much longer, 30, 30 to 60 days. So, plus, we've got some price range issues that are averaging that out. So, um, but average days on market are at 20 right now for the county, for Kitsap County, right? 
Last thing, buyers, this is what you need to pay attention to. If you're a buyer, you really need to be on your A game, all right? With only 263 homes on market in all of Kitsap County, if you're a buyer, you need to take aim and then shoot. When you're looking to buy a house, you need to have your ducks lined up, you need to know what you're doing, okay? You need to become a professional buyer in a game you probably never expected to be a pro at, okay? So here's the step. The stat is probably the most helpful for you right now, and that's sales price to list price. And what that means is what are homes selling for compared to what they were listed for. So if it was listed at $100,000 and it sold for $103,000, that means it sold for 103% to its list price, okay? Or 3% over its list price, basic math. So right now, stat is sales price to list price is 101 uh, for this week, 101.23%. Last week it was 102%. So you're, we're going to see it fluctuate, you know, by 1%, you know, 1% to 2% per week. Here's what I'd recommend. If you're a buyer, I'd be offering 2 to 3% over list price if you want the house. That, that statistic is a general statistic for all of Kitsap County. And, I, you know, I would not, uh, what's the word? Don't get detailed about this stuff. It's a general number. That number is going to vary within price ranges. If you're in the lower price range, that number is going to be higher. If you're in other price ranges, it's going to be maybe a little lower uh, and it's going to vary per house, okay? If you see a house that you like, that's your house, go all in right now, okay? Don't take risks. Don't play games. Don't try and get a deal. You dig? You got it? Yeah. All right. Sales price to list price. You can Google that. Learn about it. Okay. That's this week's Kitsap County housing stats for the week of November 7th through November 13th. I am Stephanie Dupuy with Dupuy team at Keller Williams West Sound. If you have any comments or questions or thoughts or anything you want to add, uh, we'd love to hear you. Please leave comments, questions below. If you found this helpful, please share it. Uh, and we will obviously, we will see you next week right here, same place, same time. Oh, like and subscribe.